Hi, my name is Willux, and this is episode two of Ultimate Alchemy. Today, I'm going to go over that smelter you can see over there on the left, and uh, all the different alloys we can make with it. Even gold and silver are all alloys. A whole bunch of different things are alloys. Then we're going to come up a way to automate nickel. In this pack, that's more difficult than it sounds. And then on top of that, we're going to come up with a better way of automating dirt than using leaves, like I, I promised I'd come up with that better way last uh, episode. So before we get started on that, let's talk about a couple of minor improvements you could, I could, should have made to this over here. One was recommended to me by Darkstar Armada and Kai, both of them suggested, made the same suggestion. If I put oak planks in here, I get 16 sticks. That saves me, not sorry, not oak wood. That saves me having to make oak planks. So it's one less of these. Something else I thought of when I was uh, switching it around. I should have used a flat transfer node, one of these things here, right there. And that would pull this down one and I could get rid of this cobblestone up here and it could pull from there. And that would make it a little more efficient that way. The other place I might have used one was here, just to pull that whole line down a little bit. Maybe shoved that uh, wood one behind. Actually, I could get rid of that wood one and put one in between these two here. No, you can't. It has to go in through the top. I take that back. That has to stay where it is. Never mind. Anyways, so that's taken care of. When I went to make the spell tree, grout. Notice it's not clay in there, it's gravel. So it's just gravel and sand for it. You take the grout, you cook that up, you get seared bricks, and you make the smeltery that way. For lava, the way you make lava is you take one bucket, one obsidian, two charcoal, and you make a bucket of lava ingredients. You take that, you come over here, you cook it up, and it gives you a bucket full of lava when it's done. We don't need to wait for that. You know what a bucket full of lava looks like. All right, so I did set up some things here. I'm gonna show you how to make this uh, redstone energy conduit in a sec. I've got some item conduit underneath to pull out of these. I flip the switch here. It powers these. They automatically uh, do it that way. But let's take a look at what we can do with this on the alloys you might want to get out your pencil and paper or take a screenshot your choice so because it's easier to follow than jei the way i've got the amounts here to make gold it's an alloy of tin and glowstone remember tin is uh, compressed uh, gravel cooked and you alloy those two together and you get gold Silver, you get two silver from one iron and one glass. You get four lead from two iron and one obsidian. Pulsating iron, you alloy together one iron and five ender shards. And that's what we use to make the item conduits. Hardened glass, which we're going to use in something, I forget what is obsidian and four glass. Gives you hardened glass. Now these ones here are a little different the way they work. The way that works is you melt down the redstone, you put the iron in the casting basin, pour the redstone over the iron, and you get your redstone alloy ingot. To get iron ore, you place stone in a casting basin and you pour a blo block of iron over top of that and you get iron ore, which we're going to be using in a second. I've already done 20 of them. I've also used some netherrack already, which is stone with lava over top of it. Now you don't have to do this one through the smeltery, you could just have a tank that pours it into uh, a casting basin and do it that way if you want. 
It's a little trickier with this because you've got to wait until the uh, stone goes in to place the iron because otherwise the iron will pour into the casting basin directly. All right, so that covers off all of those. Now, I said I was going to show you how to make uh, stuff. So, conduit binder. Take gravel and sand, you cook this up, and you get this type of conduit binder here. You take these, combine with the pulsating iron that I just showed you how to make, and you get yourself item conduits. Then you come over here, you take the redstone alloy ingots. Actually, I was going to show you, I should show you at least one thing being made that way. Because this is a little different and it might get you slightly confused. So I was planning on showing you at least this one because it's pretty quick. So we will put redstone in there. Drop that there, there, and there. We can turn that on. You haven't done your thing yet, so we'll give you a little helping hand. There we go. It pours out the redstone automatically on top of those. You can see them doing their thing. Then they get fed into here. And there was already one in there, so now there's five. And that's how you make that. All right. And so the redstone energy conduit that I had running up the top there. That's just the conduit binder and redstone alloy. And that's how we get that. I was planning on using ender tanks, but decided not to. But that's how you make an ender tank. It uses an ender shard instead of ender pearls or whatever. And same with the ender chest. Notice no wool. Wool's harder to get than you think. All right. So let's move on to nickel. So what's all this about nickel? Why, why is nickel hard to, uh, to deal with? Okay, so if we want nickel and we start leafing through and we go, well, that, ta that takes nickel to make nickel. Well, how are we supposed to get nickel? There's no way to get uh, nickel ore. Well, actually there is, but uh, you need nickel to make the nickel ore. And it it's a net loss doing it that way. So that's not the answer. So how do we go about getting uh, it? Let's say we wanted uh, molten nickel. It's a fractionating still is what we need to do it with. We put iron into a fractionating still, and that gives us molten nickel. Well, that sounds pretty good. What's the problem there? That looks easy. You need nickel to make the fractionating still. So we're still back to this. What the hell? So how do we get that? Pulverized nickel. And you can look through all these different things, and here's how you have to do it. You take iron ore, you pulverize it, and you got a 10% chance on getting pulverized nickel. Notice that I have a whole bunch of iron ore that we made. That's why. So let's start off with that. We'll take our pulverizer. Oh, pulverizer, a piston. Gravel's made the same way. Machine frames is going to be the same for all of them. Tin gear, glass, iron. And these are the same for all of them. It's either gold or silver in each of these things with redstone on the ends and copper gears. So let's get started on that. We'll bring this over here. Plus, oh, I made myself some leadstone energy conduit. That's just... Uh, couple of lead, piece of glass, and some redstone. And we'll take that off. It's getting power. We'll toss in that and hope for the best. While it's doing its thing, let's work on the next step, which is a magma crucible. Remember the hardened glass that I talked about? Nether bricks made by nether, putting the nether bricks like that. You make them by, remember I showed you how to make netherrack. So you can make nether bricks. And the rest of the stuff's all the standard. We'll take that. And uh, this thing gets uh, iron. 
Let's grab ourselves a stack of iron. Put it down there. Turn that off for now. I think it's going to move something over, but I uh, haven't done that. Not that set up yet. How are you doing? Nothing so far. Well, we're waiting on you, so let's hope for the best here. Give me a nickel. There we go. We got a nickel. That's all we need. Let's save the rest of that ore. We don't need more of that. All right, so we've got our one nickel. We come over here, and we put a nickel up there, and we got ourselves a fractionating settle. And we come over here, we put down our fractionating still, and we want an input there. We want a output there. And it's starting to do its thing. So the next step in that chain is going to be output out the top. And we're going to take and put down one of those. On top of that, we're going to put one of these. It's filling up with nickel. And then we're going to take a one of these and a barrel. Barrel we'll put down like that. And we have nickel! What do you know? We need at least two nickel for our next step. So what's taking the time? You are. Oh, we just got our second nickel. Two nickel. That's enough for what we want to do right now. So we're going to take that. Do I have iron on me? No. We're going to make some invar. We need to turn this off because we're alloying. We're going to take two nickel and four iron. That's going to make a six invar, I think. Yeah, we got six invar. And then I need four of those invar. And we're going to make a gear out of them. Invar gear. That goes up here. Oops, I see my mistake. There's a tin gear here. That was supposed to be machine frame. Machine frame. And that gives us our induction smelter. So what can we do with an induction smelter? Well, actually, there's all sorts of things you can do with an induction smelter. But let's say, for instance, this leadstone energy conduit only handles, I think it's 80 RF per tick. And the low-level um, energy conduit handles something like 1,280 RF per tick, I think. I'm trying to remember. And um, so let's make some of that. What do we need for that? We need a redstone alloy. I forget. Not redstone alloy. Um, energy conduit. Conductive iron. And that's iron and redstone. Oh, and you got to turn this up. See, if I try to put uh, stuff in, it won't go. So, got to turn this off, 
and then we can get both in. And that's going to make our conductive iron so that we can uh, then make energy conduit and replace this. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be sticking with cables like this anyways. I'm going to be switching this around, I think. Um, I'm probably going to go with the uh, Extra Utilities 2 power system, the wireless power system to start, because then they don't have to be attached to machines. gives me more sides to work with. Later on, I might get into a flux network. I, I would use it right away if I had something on myself that I needed powered. But uh, for these low, lo these low machines that only use 20 RF per tick, 20 RF per tick, um, the wireless power is plenty because it can do machines up to 80 each. But I need to feed it in with better conduit because this ca can only do 80 per connection. It can push a lot more through it, but it's only 80 per connection. All right. So that's it for um, nickel. Let's move on to dirt and grass. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to try to do this in order. I, and I don't have them in order correctly. We're going to make one carpenter. That's a sturdy casing, which is simple stuff. And that's going to be go in our first slot here. Then, oh, no, actually, this goes in the first slot. Energetic infuser. Lead gear, those things, all standard stuff. What is it we do with the energetic infuser? We're going to use bone meal. Uh, I don't need very much of it. Eight is more than enough. And we get bone meal with uh, this guy, the lens of color over here. So we drop down our energetic infuser there. It doesn't need to attach to anything. We put that in and that's going to give us appetite. And why is appetite of any interest to us? Well, one of the things we need, let, let's go through the whole dirt process so you know what I'm aiming for here. Dirt. To make dirt, how do we make it? You have a carpenter, gravel, and liquid dirt. How do we get liquid dirt if we haven't made dirt yet? Okay. Liquid d dirt. Use a still. Okay. Water of life. Well, what the hell's water of life? All right. No, nope. fermenter. We need something in here. And we're making this, see this fertilizer? That fertilizer, we're making that right now. With gravel and water, and that will make us our water of life. So that's what we're aiming for. A lot of people go for compost. To do that, they have to make saplings. To make the oak saplings, I don't want to try to stop it. To make the oak saplings, you take a dead bush in a carpenter with water to make it, and then you have to use that to make leaves and then you use the leaves uh, use to make your compost. And that's a very involved way to get there. Because think of it, it was nine of these, nine of those. You'd have to make 81 of the stupid things, right? Yeah. So we're doing it the easier way. We're using appetite. Well, what do you do with the appetite? Well, we come over here, we take that and some sand. And we've got our fertilizer. Cool. And yeah, we haven't done the other machine yet. Okay. Let's get the rest of them. Squeezer, sturdy casing, pistons. Sturdy casing again, fermenter, that's just stone gears. Still sturdy casing again. Yeah, 
and one more carpenter. All right, we're going to need more leadstone. Do I have more leadstone on me? Yes. I think that's one extraction. Okay. So I'm going to put down my squeezer first. And then for my squeezer, I am going to have it send fluids out both sides. Now I'll put down this carpenter here. We'll get to that in a minute. We're not going to use it right away. Then we're going to put down our fermenter here. We're still there. And our other carpenter there. Got power all the way out here. To, yeah, that was perfect. Okay, that works out. So then, for this squeezer here, um, that's where we're going to, we need a stack of wood. Give me some wood. And this is how we're going to make water for now. Now, I could make an infinite source and use that to make water, but this was handy. I, I don't care about the power, I don't care about the wood, and I need some sort of an infinite source. We could go two different routes. We could use extra utilities with the world interaction, or we can make an ac aqueous accumulator. Uh, there's no sinks or anything in this pack. So we're making water here. And yeah, it's getting some over here. That's what I care about. That one doesn't have to fill up right away. So the se second step here is in here. And we're going to take in our fertilizer we just made and we need gravel so we're actually going to need it twice and that's starting to make our water of life and the water of life comes in here and becomes liquid dirt and the liquid dirt comes over here then for that we're getting our liquid dirt in there Put that in there, and that gives us dirt. Cool. And then we're going to take, and we're going to put down one of these on top of there. Stick one of these up there, and boom, we have dirt. All right, bonus points. Let's make grass. Well, remember what I was talking about on making those stupid saplings? Well, that's what we're going to do to make our grass. So let's show you what we're talking about. But we, it's easier now that we have dirt to do it. So grass is compost and dirt with water in a carpenter. That's where we set up the extra carpenter compost we can make with saplings and dirt and we get eight of them that sounds like a better deal to me right all right so we need four saplings to get four saplings oh i didn't show you that did i yeah i already showed i showed it to you before so for saplings we're going to need eight sticks Actually, I don't. We might only need to make one of these because I think you can actually get them back. But we'll see. So we got our four of those. Then we stick that. We get our saplings. We got our four. No, we didn't get them back. I don't know what I was talking about. All right. So those combined with we need a dirt. Oops. 
That gives us our compost. We're going to need more dirt. I don't know how much I need. I forget. What were we shooting for for grass? Yeah, just one, one dirt and... Oh, yeah, that doesn't go in here. It goes in a carpenter with water. We only need one grass because it's going to spread. We can do the rest with dirt. And boom, we have a grass block. All right. So that covers what I had planned for this episode. Um, I'm going to ask you a question. I've spent wasted hours looking to try and figure out how I get fused quartz. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to make conduit for liquids. And I wanted to make... Uh, not that one, because if we, we notice the description... Flow rate uh, respects gravity, so it can't go uphill, right? So we want to make at least the pressurized fluid conduit, if not the uh, ender one. Well, for this, you need fused quartz. And to the, from the best that I can see, I couldn't find any way to make fused quartz. And I looked through all the scripts. I looked through all the configs. It's not in there. I think what he tried to do was make it so that you could use either hardened glass or quite clear glass in place of the fused quartz for these recipes. But it doesn't work because the, he's marked them as fused, both of those. But it doesn't work. It didn't substitute in the recipe. So I think he, he missed a step when he was writing it out. If there's a way to make, before I try to send him a bug or something like that. Let me know if there's a way to make fused quartz. Maybe there's a machine that I haven't discovered yet, like for instance, an immersive, uh, not immersive, yeah, immersive, immersive engineering. Um, they've got an alloy. Maybe I can do it with that or something, some sort of an alloy machine. Or there might be some other machine I'm not familiar with, but uh, that doesn't show up in NEI for some reason but I can't find any way to make that stuff. Let me know in the comments if you do. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks.